why you should always stick in set uh, and you should never really if you're in the middle of a cold approach you should never uh, leave the cold approach um, unless you've got a good reason uh, you want to stick in there as long as possible and uh, I want to go into a little bit more depth on why you should be doing so uh, but before we kick it off, I'm Dave, and this channel is dedicated to giving you no BS novel dating advice for modern men. So I'm based in Sydney, Australia, and uh, I teach Cold Approach. What we do is we uh, hit the streets, we pound the pavement, and uh, we do uh, long hours of you and me going out there and approaching as many girls as possible, and then you come back, and then I give feedback. You go back out there again and then repeat uh, and we drill and we drill and we drill until you get really good at it uh, so that's basically what I do and um, you can check out the website top link in the description to uh, check out the website there's a whole bunch of blog posts there and um, you can sign up to do some coaching uh, through the website sorry I've got something in my throat <clears throat> so sticking in set uh, so if you guys that don't know, set is a little bit of a, uh, uh, pick up lingo. A set is like a, a girl that you've approached. Uh, it's a cold approach. Um, sticking in is making sure that you stay there. Um, so when you, one thing that has been happening and I, I noticed that and I just thought that I would, uh, uh, bring it up in this video is that. I had a student that would be in a, a very nice interaction with a girl. It's going really well. And it, it was as if maybe he he just wasn't used to uh, being in a cold approach with a girl that he's never met before. He's And he's staying there and he ran out of things to say. He felt a little bit like he was hanging around a little bit too long or something along those lines and he felt started feeling a little bit nervous and um kind of felt like he didn't know what to do next <laughs> and um uh this happened this wasn't just once this happened over and over and over and over again and in particular there was one one interaction where uh he was uh, they ended up going for a walk towards the park and she was going to go and check out a museum and a few other things and he goes yeah I'll, I'll come with you and she said yes <laughs> and so he was he was on his way and then he realized it was too far for me to walk I can't I don't want to want to walk that far and it feels a little bit weird staying in the interaction with this girl for such a long time and I just I it blew my mind because that girl literally was, yes, hang out with me. All the signs were, there was just green light after green light after green light. Uh, there was a whole bunch of compliance. Anything he said, she just agreed. She was, she was keen. She liked him. She was by herself that day. She wanted him to hang out. And then when he goes, oh, how about I get going? Uh, can I get your number? She goes, okay. And you could tell that she was disappointed that he wanted to leave. And he just ran out of things to say and felt like he was, I don't know, like he, he couldn't really explain it. Uh, I'm not sure if this happens, this wouldn't happen to all of you guys out there. But if, if you are one of the guys that this happens to and you run out of things to say and you feel like it's weird that you just met this girl and um, you're just hanging out with her and you feel like, you, what what do I know, do next? I just recommend that you just stay in the interaction, deal with the, the social pressure that you might be feeling that isn't really there, by the way. There's no real social pressure there at all. Um, if she likes you um, and she's okay with you being in her presence and... Um, She's showing a lot of compliance, as in you say, hey, I'll come and do this. And she goes, yes, OK. Uh, and you're checking up with her and she does it. She's clearly not weirded out. She's clearly not looking for a way to end the interaction with you. Uh, 
and you end it yourself, oh man, you, you really should not be ending those interactions. You should be staying in there. Um, and if you feel like uh, there's too much pressure or you might be imposing your will on her, just go, is it okay if I hang out with you? It's okay. You can just ask her that. Uh, you can literally just go, look, um, I know we just met. Is it okay if I, I, you know, we go and do this thing together? Is is that okay? Are you sure that's okay? You can say that to her. Um, but to just get to the point where you feel like you've pushed too hard or you 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 might be weirding her out and it's entirely in your head and then you just go oh, can I just get your number and then run away as if the number is the prize and the girl's not the prize. <laughs> You're ruining these interactions. You're ruining these cold approaches and, and some of them uh, would have been... Sorry, I just had dinner. <laughs> and some of these interactions uh, would have ended really well uh, in your favour. Um, I just recommend that you... St- Stay in the stay in the set. Now, if you're in, if you're the type of guy that doesn't have a lot of situational awareness and, and people are looking at you, but you you are you've got the blinders on, you you just see girl and you don't see that there's like people looking at you, uh, securities looking at you, other people are looking at you, and you're not aware of it. You just You don't see them in the peripheral vision and it's actually really happening. Um, And you're annoying people and you're blowing out locations because you just don't have, you know, you don't have that social awareness. Then that's a problem. If you have people uh, coming in and saying, hey, why are you talking to this girl? And this is, this happens often to you when you don't see them coming. You don't notice them before they open their mouth and start talking to you. Then you need to reassess whether you're sticking in these interactions too long. Uh, and you need to work on being a bit more observant. Um, and maybe you're a little bit too abrasive with your cold approaches. And on top of that, show a lot more empathy to see if she's okay even talking to you uh if you're the extreme case where you're not aware that people are watching and sometimes you might have you might be in let's just say for instance starbucks and the barista comes over to you and says ask the girl if the girl's okay if this happens to you often because you're talking to a girl and someone else comes in and goes are you okay as if like you're doing something wrong then if it happens enough times, maybe you are doing something wrong. But I dare say that most of you guys out there that are watching this, you're not doing anything wrong. Uh, and in fact, you should be pushing a little bit harder and sticking in these interactions longer. Um, and don't get the number during the interaction. Don't do that. <laughs> Only do it at the very end because... Uh, ultimately it'd be good if you could just stay in the interaction all the way to the the logical conclusion of that interaction depending on the situation a lot of guys talk about the the false time constraint oh i'm going to meet my friends i've got 15 minutes to hang out with you use the false time constraint early and if it seems like it's okay for you to stick in there and it's become a bit of an instant date even Then say, hey, let me, and then pretend to text your friend to cancel and say you'd meet up with them later. At least, you know, cover, be problem solving and have some sort of plausible deniability as to why you were there and what you were doing at all times. Uh, But if there's a lot of compliance there and everything's going well and she's happy for you to be hanging out, and staying with her don't ever end the interaction early Uh, that's probably the the main point i'm trying to make here because yeah i've had a few students that were doing that recently and some of these interactions were just gold and they just left early i was like what are you doing 
and then it just happened over and over and over again. And then uh, I had to keep drilling it into them until I eventually got it. Um, and that's what we do here. Um, we spend a lot of time making sure uh, that you drill and we drill next set, next set, next set, come back, feedback, next set, next set, and over, repeat. The best way to get good at anything is a lot of repetition, and that's what we do here. So, um, if this makes sense to you, uh, click the subscribe button, and um, if you like this advice, give me a thumbs up. If you disagree, uh, if you don't like it, you don't like my beard, my sexy beard, leave a comment saying you don't like my sexy beard. And anyway, I'll um, I'll see you guys in the next video.